Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make this quick video um, on cleaning your moccasins or slippers or whatever you want to call them. So I had these for maybe about a year um, and I love them. Like, oh my word, my hair. I love them. I wore them all winter long, sometimes even in the summer, around the house and whatnot. Um, and they got really filthy. So I've already cleaned one just to try it out before I made this video. Um, so, you know, they get dirty on the inside and sometimes they start to smell maybe. Because um, sometimes, you know, you can't find the socks or you just real quick throw them on and head out the door. So I just want to go over... Um, I was brave enough to try this. Um, so I basically, I just take the shoe and you're going to want like Dawn dish soap or any kind of soap, I guess. It's just what I have and baking soda. Um, so I filled the shoe like a little boat, literally it's filled with water. Um, I'm using hot water to like soak it because if you think about it, the fur inside is kind of like your own hair or your dog's hair. Um, so I let it sit for just a few minutes before I um, before I started this. So the water's been in there, it's been soaking. So then I just dump the water out and then I take some dish soap and I just maybe... I put too much in, but maybe like a quarter, actually not even a quarter, maybe like a dime. And then I take a toothbrush and I literally just scrub it. You just kind of get into the cracks. And you also want to be very careful depending on what kind of moccasin you have. Some of them are more um, delicate, I guess. So... I'm literally just washing and washing um, and I found this idea on Pinterest and she used um, laundry detergent so depending on how this turns out the the other one turned out pretty good it's actually fairly clean and then okay so after I'm kind of scrubbed it got all the soap used up I take my jar of baking soda I just kind of get a little bit, I don't know if it'll focus, but you just get a little bit, I actually want a little bit more. And then I put the baking soda right on where it's dirty and just kind of, like I said, just scrub it. But you're gonna wanna be very careful, especially when you get to the lining um, because you're using hot water, I'm sure it does something to the glue on the inside. Um, and I am such a perfectionist when it comes to cleaning, so I will probably be here for a whole 15 minutes. But I won't keep you guys waiting. Um, so I think it's really hard to see down in the feet, or down in the shoe, where your feet would be. So, okay, so this is basically, you see the water dripping and it's kind of sudsy. Um... So I'm going to turn the water on and I'm actually going to rinse it with cold water just because, like I said, I don't want to ruin the lining of the shoe. And I'm also going to use my spray nozzle just to get in like the cracks and crevices of the shoe. And you're really just going to rinse it out. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but just kind of rinse it out and kind of get in between. You might want to even put the shoe down and use your fingers to just rinse out the soap and especially if you're using baking soda you don't want that like crunchy feeling <laughs> I guess um, and oh goodness who knows how long this is gonna take to dry but it's so worth it and I actually have a black pair that I've had since I was in high school and that was uh, four years or more ago so those shoes are fairly old um, so uh, Alright, so once I've done that, you're literally going to just be, like I said, you're going to be want to be very, very careful um, and just wring it out and it's going to squirt at you, so just be careful. <laughs> just be very careful with the shoe. Wring it out, wring it out. 
and voila absolutely no black nothing um, I'm probably gonna want to rinse it out even better because I'm still getting like you can't see it but I'm still getting like suds um, so so yeah that's how I cleaned my moccasins <laughs>